going to be doing a video about things you should not bring to college. So I feel like lately I've been doing tons of videos for you guys about things you should bring to college and things I recommend and stuff like that, but I really haven't been talking about things that I don't recommend. So today I'm going to be going through 10 things that I personally do not use. I know some people may not agree with all of these items, but these are personally 10 things that I did not use at all when I was in college. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys. I'm also going to be doing a whole entire video of things you guys should bring to your dorm. So if down below you guys want to leave some comments of other items that I did not mention that you don't think you should bring to your dorm room, then definitely leave that down below because you can help some other people out. Like I said, I said this in all my videos. I'm Lauren. I'm a senior at college. I do tons of college videos, um, lifestyle videos, things like that. So definitely be sure to subscribe. And also be sure to check out my Instagram, which I will have over here. I've been posting a lot more on that as well. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first item that I think is like not worth bringing at all are like little collectibles and trinkets and things like that. So kind of like little knickknacks, if that makes sense. So maybe you find this like little cute thing that you think would be cute for your desk or cute for your dresser or whatever, or your windowsill. I think that if you bring a lot of that stuff, it just collects dust and creates more clutter in your room. You know that freshman year, I brought all these random like little knickknacks that I thought would look really cute on my desk or that would look really cute on my windowsill and I ended up just collecting dust. Number two and this one is still something I suffer with because I literally have like 30 throw pillows on my bed even at home but it's excessive throw pillows. Even though throw pillows may look super pretty and you're like oh my gosh like I can like decorate them like this way for my bed and stuff like that. Honestly at the end of the day throw pillows just create a lot more clutter in your room and are going to be just all over your floor. They're probably not even going to end up on your bed. <laughs> I like kind of like messy made my bed every morning so having so many throw pillows is honestly such a pain in the butt. Number three is tons of organization buckets and storage things so obviously you want to keep a lot of good storage things so like I said in past videos I recommend storage drawers front of your bed maybe like two storage bins and maybe like a little basket or something for your desk but I brought like five baskets like seven or eight of those like little plastic divider storage things for like inside your drawers. I bought like two big cute boxes for my windowsill and it was just really excessive. And I brought like all these extra boxes and all these extra like plastic like divider things and it just was taking up so much room and I did not need it. So my next item is candles. So you're not even allowed to burn candles in I don't think like any freshman dorm room. So even if you even get caught having a candle even if it's not burning on your dresser drawer, you usually will get in trouble and written up and stuff like that. <laughs> at least at my school you do. So it's not even worth bringing a candle. Just bring one of those little like wall air scent things that you can get at like Bath and Body Works and stuff or like an air diffuser instead of bringing a candle with you because they don't want any open flames or anything, which makes sense because it's such a small room. So don't even bother bringing a candle. They're just not worth it. and might cause you to even get number five is another one people are going to disagree with me on like i said but a television personally we think a tv takes up so much room the only time me and my friends used a tv was when we were watching the bachelor usually you can watch almost anything you want to watch on your computer so i just kind of watched everything on my computer i didn't really think that having a tv was very necessary it kind of just took up a lot of room was really bulky and was just like huge extra piece you have to move in on moving day so personally, again, I just think watching everything on your computer saves you so much more space and you usually can find all your shows like on the computer. Also, I found myself not having a lot of downtime to actually watch TV, so I never really used the TV anyways. Number six is big luggage pieces. So I put up a video about move-in day and how I kind of move in and how I store all my stuff and I said not to really bring that many luggage pieces because big bulky luggage is just not worth it. I had a little carry-on bag that I kept with me under my bed if I had to go to sleepovers or something or had a weekend trip or wanted to go home. Um, either that or like a weekender like I had a huge weekender tote. I love those, so I'll either use one of those or I'll use my mini carry-on luggage. I personally didn't think that having tons of luggage under my bed was very beneficial. I had a huge luggage freshman year and a little one. I never touched the huge one. So I personally think if you are moving stuff in with luggages, just to bring them back home, except for a little carry-on one or a weekender bag, keep that with Number you. Number seven is tons of appliances. So like tons of coffee mugs, tons of plastic plates. I personally never used like 
any of that stuff. Sometimes I would use plastic plates and plastic spoons if I was making myself something really quick in my room, but usually you end up just eating at the dining hall or somewhere else. So I had like a reusable plate and a reusable knife and spoon and a reusable cup and I just had one of each and I would use it once in a while. I didn't really touch it that much. I also brought like six coffee mugs with me. You only need one coffee mug. Number eight is another one that I don't know, I had this year and I really don't think you need, is like a fish. I don't really think you need to bring a whole fish with you to school. I don't know, I just feel like in college and you're super busy and even though a fish isn't like a ton of responsibility, it's just kind of another thing that you have to be responsible for. Number eight is extra furniture. Specifically talking mostly about freshman dorms right now, they're very small. Once you get like an apartment or your own room and stuff like that, then those will fit better. And I brought like an extra lamp by junior year because I had more room and stuff like that in my sophomore year. But freshman year when you're with a roommate, it's such close quarters that bringing an extra like side table and stuff might be a little bit harder to fit in your room so I don't really think that you need that the basic furniture is there for you that you can use so I would just use what the school provides you with and not bring any extra furniture like that because it's not really going to even fit in your room that well so like a clothing rack stuff like that's not really going to fit well in your room there was barely any room and I d couldn't even imagine like fitting another piece of furniture in there so definitely just kind of keep with what the school has. Okay, number 10 is your whole makeup collection. So I took pretty much my makeup collection. I just took three, um, the three drawer storage units. So it was like this small and I just did eyes, lips, face and whatever fit in that is what I brought. So I right now have like six of those here. So I kind of just brought it down to just one of those because you're not gonna be able to fit your whole hair makeup collection in your bedroom so I personally just did one little three drawer storage container and that worked perfectly for and me and then lastly a little bonus one is anything your roommate's bringing so remember to always talk to your roommate before you move in and ask them what they're bringing see like who's bringing a carpet who's bringing a mini fridge who's bringing a microwave because you don't want to end up with two big huge mini fridges or two carpets in your room that would be really really annoying so always remember to figure out who your roommate is and talk to them about what they're bringing because you don't want to spend any extra money than you need to and then also have to lug all that stuff to your dorm just to find out that you're really already packed it. Alrighty guys, so that was the end of everything that I think you shouldn't bring to school. But if you guys have any recommendations, leave those down below and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.